Good morning. Today is Wednesday, August 10th. My name is Damian White. I'm here with my associate Steve Rand, and this is the Gold Spot. Okay, well, let's get right into it. I think today we're going to do something a little bit different. We've been talking about the economy quite a bit, but we've been getting a lot of inquiries from clients um, over the last several months, actually going back a couple of years even at this point, um, about certain types of products that our clients are looking to get invested in or have been talking to other entities um, around the country. A lot of this tends to be in retirement accounts, but we have seen some personal use of it as well. And what this is, is more um, coins that are being offered exclusively to other country or other companies, excuse me, um, that are coming from other countries. So Canadian coins, Australian coins, British coins, and they have this, they're giving them an air of exclusivity to them and making them sound like a fantastic investment. One of them I know recently I've heard from a client was on the Canadian wildlife series. Um, they're coming into these with very like rare expectations, good investments, and this exclusivity. Um, what are your thoughts on that as an investment and what are you hearing from clients, Steve? Well, it's, it's, you know, it depends on the, on the situation because in rare instances, you will find people who have purchased these coins or are being recommended these coins at very fair prices and, and uh, they can work just like any other bullion coin. Um, but the overwhelming uh, other side of this is that a lot of people are buying these coins and they're getting premiums that are you know, really, really high comparatively to what it should be for a bullion coin, which is what they are. So uh, they're being told that these coins, of course, because of their low mintages, are going to be worth some significant amount of money down the road, but there's really no track record to show that in any way. And unfortunately, the buybacks on these products tend to be very low uh, at uh, spot price, or in some cases lower, because, because there's no secondary market for this, what ends up happening is the suppliers can't give you full spot price for them because they're going to end up melting them down and turning them into bars. So you really want to be careful when you're being recommended these coins. There's a number of red flags that I've seen that a lot of people have really not noticed at first, but a lot of these coins are in very odd weights, one third ounce, one and a quarter ounce. Nothing seems to be a one ounce coin in most cases. So it makes it difficult for the client to put a real price on the ounce of gold without doing the math. And in many cases, you'll find that you know, the client will be offered something more recognizable like a regular maple leaf or an American Eagle or something like that, a one ounce coin at a very fair price. But then when you look at the majority of their portfolio, it's going to be in, in coins that are very odd weights. And when you look at it, now you're paying you know, twice the price of gold in some cases we've seen. The difficulty is going to be is that you can't, it, you have a hard time you know, finding a comparable anywhere out there. You really want to make sure if you're buying these type of coins, you can get a comparison or, or at least make sure you're looking at that before you buy them to make sure that you're getting a fair price on it. If you're paying a lot over the price of spot for these type of coins, you're probably not. And uh, you just want to be careful when you're doing this because it can be very difficult to find buyers to, to sell those to when it comes time to get out of the market. Right, right. Yeah. So it sounds like they're almost kind of creating a story and exclusivity to something that may not have that, that value that they're trying to put into. Well, yeah, there's no track record. And that's the key is when you're buying a product like this or an investment, you want to make sure there's a track record that your broker can show you so that you know that you've got something that's actually had good performance in the past and under similar circumstances could have even you know, that performance or maybe even better. Right, exactly. Well, keep that in mind, everybody, because this is something that's going around to one of our clients and, and people that are looking into gold to be getting a, a, you know, a good value for their, for their investment. We have had a couple of reports that we've done on these products um, that you can request on our, on our website. And other than that, let's say let's have a great week this week. And thank you for watching The Gold Spot. Thank you.